creating a data lake can be really challenging in order to understand how to capture real-time data as well as data at rest. And this is an effort wherein we will do step-by-step -step creation of a data lake, getting data, ingest data at rest and streaming data, which is data in motion. And then we are going to talk about how to capture real-time events coming in from various applications, IoT, your on-prem applications, or a third-party uh, application. Then we should be able to store both these data sets, data at rest and streaming data, in the Azure Data Lake. So the first step is ingestion, second is storage, and then we create a structure on top of this data lake. The data can be structured, unstructured data, and make it available for machine learning and dashboards. And finally, the real-time monitoring of the streaming data by Azure Streaming Analytics. We will enable all of this, and we are going to discuss step by step. Now, this is the architecture. So you have data at rest, enterprise data, ERP, and IoT data, or sensor data, or Splunk data coming in from web click stream analytics. So for data at rest, we will use batch uh, programming, maybe once in 30 minutes, three hours, or more than, maybe nightly, using Azure Data Factory, and we are gonna load it in Azure Data Lake. So this top piece has already been done in the previous videos. In the, the next set of videos, we're going to talk about event queue, which is going to enable real-time access and ingestion of data from IoT and sensor data. And then these event queues, which is event hub, Azure event hub, would publish the data using streaming analytics onto the data lake. Very simple architecture, step-by-step -step understanding on how it's need to be done, and then high structure creation. Many, in many cases, uh, we have avoided creating any high structure. We can directly use Azure Data Lake to do some machine learning or data science experiments or real-time dashboards or reporting and dashboarding. This can also be used as an emitter applications, uh, emitter to emit data for downstream applications. And then finally, we talk about Azure. Uh, Azure ML Workbench is now being changed to uh, machine learning experience, data science experiments. And then Power BI, uh, as it is Azure, we will stick with Power BI as, as the reporting solution. Now let's take a look step-by-step uh, step again how to do it. So in the next video, I'm going to create an event hub. So we're going to reference this architecture. In the next video, we're going to create an event hub and then we will simulate some sensor data using Python scripts. So the Python scripts would be publishing the data onto the Azure Event Hub. And from here, we are gonna get streaming analytics up and running in order for this data to be absorbed in the Azure Data Lake as well as in the Power BI. So in Power BI, you would see real-time data uh, streaming. I hope this interests you 